Despite Elon Musk's claims about his quote-unquote bulletproof Cybertruck, there isn't any such thing as bulletproof. You can make something bulletproof, I'll just go get a bigger bullet, said Frank Groth of Gillette. A retired law enforcement officer, Groth is also a tactical firearms instructor who specializes in defensive shotgun training. The proper term is actually bullet-resistant, and Musk's truck could probably resist projectiles only up to a certain point, he said. If I want to defeat a car, I'm gonna use a shotgun slug. A hardened, redneck slug will go through a car like a knife through butter. I think it would go through the Cybertruck. Vince Venata of Cody, a Marine Corps veteran and retired law enforcement officer, agreed that the Cybertruck probably wouldn't stand up to rifle calibers that are common in Wyoming. I think if you shot that Elon Musk truck with a 308 or a 300 Winchester Magnum or a 7mm Remington Magnum, it would go right through, he said. Some popular social media videos show the Cybertruck, which Musk touts as a cutting-edge vehicle standing up to some gunfire. In one, a robot puts on a black cowboy hat before emptying the drum magazine of a Thompson submachine gun into the side of a Cybertruck, occupied by another robot. The bullets dent, but apparently don't penetrate the vehicle. Once the shooting stops, the robot inside the vehicle steps out and declares, I'm alive. The Thompson is chambered in 45 APC which also is a popular pistol cartridge. In another video, Tesla engineers open up on the Cybertruck with a Thompson as well as a couple 9mm firearms and a shotgun loaded with 00 buckshot. Again, the vehicle is severely dented, but apparently none of the projectiles penetrate the interior. Yeah, but the hitch with those videos is that despite all those rounds being adequately deadly under the right circumstances, they're also low velocity, Groth and Venata said. A 5.56mm rifle round going 2300 feet per second is going to go through a lot more material than a 40 45 caliber pistol round going about 800 feet per second. Several factors come into play when it comes down to which projectiles will penetrate what, Venata said. A lot of it depends on the distance and what the speed of that round is upon impact. The faster a bullet is going, the more kinetic energy is going to transfer into the target, and that kinetic energy can cause the metal to heat up and actually make it melt. The metal on this Cybertruck's body is 3 millimeters rolled steel. That's not very thick, not at all, so it couldn't stand up to higher velocity bullets. Venata reiterated that calling something quote-unquote bulletproof, including the Cybertruck, just isn't accurate. Elon Musk is using the wrong word. He should be saying it's bullet-resistant. Actual body armor and specialized glass is marketed as bullet-resistant. Anybody who says something is bulletproof either doesn't know what they're talking about or is trying to sting you. Bullet-resistant body armor comes in various grades or levels. Level 4 body armor is the toughest and can stand up to some rifle rounds. When I was in law enforcement, I wore level 3 body armor. It's rated to stop pretty much any pistol round, Groth said. He and some fellow marines once put some 4-inch bullet-resistant glass to the test by shooting it with several types of firearms and ammunition. Single 9mm rounds embedded themselves in the glass. Concentrated fire from 9mm weapons blew through it. Hollow point rounds from a 38 disintegrated, and number 4 buckshot bounced off but shotgun slugs went through. And if somebody wearing body armor is hit with a projectile that doesn't penetrate it, the transfer of impact can still cause injuries. Venata said he once saw a bullet-resistant vest mounted on a dummy with ballistic clay in the abdomen area shot with various firearms. When it was hit with 00 buckshot, most of the pellets didn't penetrate, but the impact was still devastating. I don't know what Elon Musk's motivation is behind trying to market that thing as bulletproof. Maybe he's trying to sell it to people in LA and Chicago. Also, the vehicle's tires apparently aren't bullet resistant, which could weaken its value in a firefight. Even so, the truck being bullet resistant might come in handy in an unusually bad situation. If it slows down the round, even if the round penetrates and makes it less capable of defeating the vehicle, stopping the vehicle, and hurting somebody who is inside, it could give you more opportunity to get out of the area.